Hello, welcome to another episode of Quick View on Comparison of Adjectives. You are watching part two of the series. In the previous episode, part one, we have looked at how the forms of adjectives change when we make comparison. We add er and est at the back of the adjectives. In this episode, we will look at more examples. What do we do with these adjectives? If we follow the same way, which is adding er and est, that would be easy. Beautiful, beautifuler, beautifulest, handsome, handsomer, handsomest, popular, popularer, popularest, boring, boringer, boringest, exciting, 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 interesting, interesting, interesting. Did I get them right? They are all incorrect. Not all the words can be added with er and est. Let's take a look at these two words: tall and beautiful. Words like tall can be added with er and est. For words like beautiful, we do not add er and est, but more and most. I bet a lot of you are wondering. How do we know when to add er, est, or more, most? The key word is syllable. For your information, syllable refers to the sound part of a word. One syllable word means that the word produces one sound, like big, slow, short. Two syllable word means that it produces two sounds. For example, happy, easy, angry. Meanwhile, three-syllable words produce three sounds: popular, important, generous. If the adjective is a one-syllable word like big and tall, when we make comparison, we add er and est. If the adjective Is a three or more syllable word like beautiful, three syllables, and original, four syllables. We add more and most beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful, original, more original, most original. Here are more examples for three or more syllables adjectives: beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful, popular, more popular, most popular, exciting, more exciting, most exciting, interesting, more interesting, most interesting. Now. Let's look at how we use three-syllable adjectives in writing sentences to make comparison. Here we are comparing three drawings to see which one is more beautiful. We will start with Joe's drawing. Joe's drawing is beautiful. When we compare Joe's drawing with Chong's. Turn out that Chong's drawing is more beautiful than Joe's. Next, let's look at all three drawings. We can see that Gamal's drawing is more beautiful than Joe's and Chong's. So, Gamal's drawing is the most beautiful. The next example, we will compare which sport. Is more exciting. Cycling is an exciting sport. When we compare cycling and ice skiing, ice skiing is more exciting than cycling. Next, let's bring in the third sport for comparison: skydiving. Skydiving is more exciting than cycling and ice skiing. So, skydiving. Is the most exciting sport. We have talked about one syllable 
and three or more syllable adjectives. But what about two syllable adjectives? For two syllable adjectives, they are two ways. We can add er and est, or more and most. For example, the word handsome. We can add more and most, so it's more handsome and not handsomer, most handsome and not handsomest. The same goes for borrowing. We add more and most, so it's more borrowing and not borrowinger. Most boring, and not boringest. For words like polite, another two-syllable adjective, we can add more and most. More polite, most polite. Other than that, we can also add er and est. Politer, politest. In other words, for two-syllable adjective. We can add e r e s t or more most. It depends on the word. Let's recap today's lesson. For one syllable adjective, we can only add e r e s t. Two syllable adjectives are quite tricky. Sometimes we add e r e s t. Sometimes we add more most. Sometimes we can add. Both. For three or more syllable adjectives, we can only add more, most. In the upcoming video, comparison of adjectives part three, the last episode of the series, we will look at some irregular forms of adjectives in comparison. Stay tuned. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.